Hi, this is Tio from Pakablocks.com. Today I will be reviewing the Global Art Materials Watercolor Journal. This is one of the sketchbooks that, it, that are manufactured by Global Art Materials. The other one is this normal sketchbook. This one uses watercolor paper. This one is sort of like a cartridge paper. Then they have, uh, they have another sketchbook which looks something like this. This one is actually made of, um, the paper inside is actually the rough type of paper so it's probably not good for pen and ink sketches because it's too a bit too rough. So let's take a look at this sketchbook. Uh, this one is cloth bound, has a very nice um, texture on it. There's a, this black rubber band that holds the cover together. The edges are rounded off has this uh, orange ribbon and other than that there's no like any sort of particular design this, this sketchbook comes in uh, different colors so I bought the one in light gray which I find it quite attractive let's take a look at what's inside so this is the uh, insert the behind the cover so they have this little box here for you to write your contact details just in case you lose it so people can try and return it to you so I write my contact details here inside behind the back cover and at the back uh, cover it's they have this transparent plastic pocket that you can use to put uh, stuff I use it to put stuff like uh, receipts or name cards of places that I visit and the paper itself, the paper is 200 GSM so that's about medium weight to heavy weight it's white color and as compared to off-white let's, let's compare the colors here you can see here that this one is this one is more white and this one is a bit of white creamy I like that the binding, the binding is quite good. You can lay the sketchbook flat like this. The pages are also open, you can open flat. Let me just hold it properly. So you can open flat by itself. If you lay it on the table, it will be like that. They use some sort of stitch binding here and they leave a gap so that your sketchbook can open flat. As you can tell that the, although I've used this uh, watercolor paper for uh, quite, I use quite a lot of water on some of the sketches. But you can see, for example, this one. You can see that the paper uh, doesn't warp that much. So that's the good part about this paper. This one comes in A5. This one, the one that I have right now, is in A5. They also have a small panorama format uh, that is about this height but with the at the same length and they have another one in the grand, grand portrait format which is about A4 size maybe just larger but in portrait format so let's take a look inside my sketchbook and see how watercolor reacts on the paper This is a very nice sketchbook. I hope that Global Art Materials, they will make a bigger one in landscape uh, format. So currently they only have the grand portrait in portrait format. So if they make this in a landscape format, A4 size, that would be terrific. So let's take a look at some of the sketches that I drew inside. Zoom in. The paper handles, uh, pen and ink, uh, very very well there are no basically no feathering of the ink strokes and it also handles watercolor very well there's not much uh warping to say so you can see that the pages are still relatively flat you can see beautiful uh, granulations in the watercolor there's no mention of the cotton content but it does take several layers of watercolor I like the bright white uh, surface of the paper which really gives more 
contrast to the basically the drawings here you can see that I have layered uh, put quite a few layers of watercolors for the greens and stuff like that. The paper fiber is uh, doesn't come off, so you can layer quite a few. Do a few layers of glazing and stuff like that. These are actually sketches from my Vietnam trip, so I completed one whole book uh, during the one week trip. And for 60 pages, 60 pages is quite sufficient for a one week trip. And uh, this is an exa example of a pen and ink work. So there's no feathering, the strokes come out very sharp. And the ink doesn't, how should I say, it, the ink actually dries quite fast. I'm using noodleless ink on this page. Now, on some other sketchbook, the noodleless ink doesn't dry as fast so for this particular sketchbook it actually dries quite fast so that's really a very good uh, benefit of this sketchbook let's take a look at some of the heavier washers i think this would be a quite i use quite a lot of um water on this page and also as well as pigment so you can see that the colors actually are quite vibrant and doesn't the paper doesn't dial down the colors which is a very good thing so anyway the sketches are uh, in this um, sketchbook are all in the written review that i've posted online you can just do a search for global art materials watercolor journal and that would you will be brought to the page where you can see all the sketches that i've scanned that is all for this review uh, if you want to check out the sketches that i drew inside as well as get links to where you can find this sketchbook just visit the link in the description below this video and i know a lot of people they like the most kids watercolor journal but this one is definitely worth uh, trying out as well thank you for watching this video remember to subscribe to my youtube channel because i will be posting more art product reviews in the future and if you have any questions just feel free to ask me in the comment section below as well thank you